today was kind of uh, unique because I got to uh, I had to drive down to Tomball, Texas, uh, for something totally unrelated unre to craft beer. But I thought, why not stop at a few breweries on the way and check out some stuff down here between um, basically between like Fairfield and Tomball. So today on Texas Brew Crafters, we're checking out Southern Star Brewing in Conroe, Texas. Stay tuned. It's a little bit cold out here, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna take you around and check you out. Uh, this is the outdoor part. Nobody's out here right now. It's not too bad. It's, uh, you know, the place opens at four. Uh, that was about a half hour ago. So, I wanna walk around here, get to see this big outdoor pavilion and uh, outdoor bar. And they've got a stage. They said they've got a stage, and this is like 13 acres on their property. So, when the weather's a little bit warmer, I imagine this place fills up pretty quick. Saturday, tomorrow, today's a Friday. Tomorrow and Saturday, I bet it'll be really full if the weather's nice. But, you know, it's February right now. We're getting into finally trying to get out of the cold season. Um, come April and May, this place will be hopping. Uh, so I may have to try to come back down here at some point because uh, it'd be nice to see this place full. So we're going to go inside of the tap room, which is ba which is behind me right here. Uh, right there at that building, uh, up those stairs in that door is the tap room. So we're going to go in there, check out, see what they've got. I'm going to try the buried hatchet stout, which I've actually had before at the Galveston Brew Fest. And uh, I remember liking it, so we'll see how it compares today. Stay tuned. This is a buried hatchet stout. Actually, I want to look that up and see what exactly it is. <clears throat> First time I had buried hatchet stout was at the Brewmasters Brewfest at Moody Gardens in Galveston on Labor Day weekend. I think two years ago. I went. I went in 2019 and 2018 both. But I think. Um, I think I had it both times. Okay, so Southern Star. This is on their website. I'm gonna just say what I see on their website. Uh, it was founded in July of 2007. That was before the craft beer scene took off for sure. Located in Conroe, Texas, they were the first craft beer brewery in the great state of Texas to can craft beer. That's kind of fun. Due to the dramatic increase in popularity of our brews, we were, we were provided with the opportunity to move operations into a brand new custom facility in 2016. That's where we're at right now. We now sit on over 13 acres of wooded property which you just saw. With an extraordinary tap room to overlook the production brew house, which is over there, I'll get some shots of that in a minute. An outdoor beer garden with not live music stage and disc golf. That's pretty cool. Uh, we love entertaining our guests Thursdays through Sunday, giving brewery tours at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. every Saturday. So, really glad I stopped into Southern Star on my way south. Bump, untapped, buried hatchet, Southern Star Brewing, yeah, I've checked into this, I've checked into this beer twice in the past, so it's an American stout with 8.25% ABV and a 50 IBU, it says 9% on the, on the thing over there, they have it in CO2 and on nitro. I didn't get the nitro. I don't care for the nitro. That's really good. It's got a unique flavor to it. I can't really place it. Jet black in color. The monster smells of coffee and chocolate. It's kind of a kind of like a yeah, kind of like a mocha, like a white mocha smell to it. The taste is much of the same, with hints of creamy toffee. Toffee. That's it. That's what I couldn't place. Creamy toffee and roasted malt. Smooth and delicious, a medium-bodied ale, ale, is all about malts, but has enough hop bitterness to be balanced. Yeah, that's probably right. Oh yeah, that's really good. Toffee. That's the that's the that's the um, that's the flavor I couldn't place. 
check in. TX Brewcrafters on Untapped. Oh gosh, that's really good. About halfway down here, I realized that I should have brought an empty growler and howler with me. They call it a howler at, at Galveston Island. It's the 32 ounce growler. A regular growler is 64 ounces. The one that's half the size, they call it a howler. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Careful, these are still fresh. They're new. Yeah, okay. Our new palette, our new flights here. Okay. And this is our, our strawberry blonde. Careful, okay. that, that holds a little, that holds a little wonky. Oh, no, it's there. okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that's fine. Little, yeah, that was a little wonky there. All right. But, uh, so we got got the strawberry blonde there. Yep. That one just came out last week. Okay. Uh, our subatomico, our juicy IPA. Okay. This is our test batch Goza. It's okay. going to be a hibiscus, very tart. <laughs> and then our uh, barley coherent, which is our brown ale. The that one's brown barely, ale. Okay. That one just came out about uh, about a month ago. About a month ago. So okay. Enjoy cool, yourself, man. man. Thanks. Enjoy yourself, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks a lot. That was kind of wonky. That we got to work on. That's that. okay. That's all right. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a picture of that. Whoop. That was cool. He saw me sit down with the camera and he's like, hey, can I bring you some stuff? Sure. Okay, so strawberry blonde. Southern tier mini tulip glasses. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a little bit more hoppy than I expected. Hints of strawberry, not bad. This is the one that he said was a IPA. Mm. The nose, yeah, you can definitely smell the hops in the nose of it. Oh yeah, that's good. Not big, big on IPAs, as I've said in previous videos, but it's smooth. It's not, there's more hops in the nose than there actually is in the taste. It's good. This is a Goza that just came out, hibiscus. I said it was very tart. Hibiscus Goza. Yeah, he's not lying. It's very tart. Woo! Wow. Mmm. That is good. Yeah, my wife would like that one. That's good. And he said this one was the brown ale. Yeah, that's good. It's um, like a light brown ale with um, maybe um, this is their flight tray. <laughs> Can't beat that. We write in chalk right there what it is. Hospitality with these guys was really, really fantastic. I, I, I was only here for like 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, I walked in with this big camera contraption that I carry with the gimbal. And he's like, hey, what, uh, you have a podcast? And I said, well, it's a YouTube channel. And he's like, great, let me bring you some test brews. So I got to taste those, which you just saw. And um, this is a cool place. It's very spread out. It's a little bit off the highway. If you're coming from the north, headed south down the road you turn off of, the, the exit is about a quarter mile past where Google tells you it is. So just keep looking. There is a sign there, so you'll see the sign. Uh, turn right, and it kind of snakes back in here until this big open area that I showed you a little bit of earlier. All this back here it belongs to them. That's the road that leads back out to the highway, or to the, to the main road. And all this is theirs right there. That's the tap room and the stairs behind me. So special thanks to those guys in there. This is a great place. I wish it was a little bit closer to me. I'd come here all the time if it was. Um, hope to catch you next time. We're gonna head over to Copperhead Brewing now.